see what vimshotri is telling vimshotri will tell you the physical circumstances and charadasha will tell you at a soul level how much enthusiastic you are and for charadasha as i said in the beginning jupiter's placement is very important because jupiter is ultimately jeev karak he is the significator of the soul finally it's not sun actually at a final level he is the significator because he is the connection that you have to the divine so therefore if jupiter is well placed the person is more eager to accept the results of charadasha and if sun or mars or this cruel planets are <laughs> <laughs> these cruel planets are more well placed then the person is like no i have nothing to do with soul and all just tell me when i will get the results when i will get money when i will get married no then it's only vimshotri so that is also a very beautiful art by seeing the horoscope you have to identify what in fact you will also come to know what questions you will ask <laughs> so suppose somebody jupiter is very well placed then i have seen 99% of the time the questions are like actually sir i am not happy you know i want to do this i want to do that. so basically what is happening there is a uh, disharmony which is coming because vimshotri is pushing him somewhere and because he is connected with charadasha because of his good jupiter he is feeling he should do that more that is why he feels you know oh, i have certain things in my life but i want to do something else but if jupiter is badly placed or not very well placed or if it's afflicted also i've seen uh, the person is least the person doesn't even feel which charadasha is running sometimes i have seen people uh, like one horoscope i saw recently the person is married around 45 from last 7 years he was running the uh, charadasha of the darakar where the darakar is placed in his case jupiter is uh, was in the 12th house i saw and then i was like he did not ask me one single question about marriage <laughs> like what the hell man <laughs> how is this possible you, know, you are running your daragara is sitting there and you don't have any question i mean how is that now maybe his everything in his marriage is fine but even if it is fine i have seen people asking questions yeah but because that jupiter is not very prominent in his chart so this charadasha is not affecting him. so what Seventh house? No, I just want to know: uh, Should I stay in UK or should I go to US? That is my question. I have nothing to do. So now, now it could happen that he is he settled in UK. So if he has to go to US, maybe there will be some problem of this visa and all this, and he may not be able to take his wife with with him, or even his children also. But uh, he 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 is not concerned about that. His only concern is: Will I go or not? so my wife will come or not my children will come or that is secondary that is not my priority my priority is can i go to a better place for a better job or whatever it is so why is it even though he is running that uh, dasha of the darakara where that darakara is placed that sign because uh, he is not aware at that level and maybe if he does <laughs> more spiritual practices he has two more years of that darakara that dasha rani so maybe he will suddenly start feeling that oh what yeah, like. <laughs> and that is why i have seen some people you will see they are very inquisitive spiritually very much so that that will come from the charadasha part but now suppose in vimshottari they are running eighth house then what will happen they will go and take shelter of some guru and then that guru will be the bogus or that guru will not be able to you know help them or like or maybe the guru is himself not practicing very seriously but now the opposite suppose you know in vimshotri you are running ninth lord or ninth house or anything or any planet in the ninth then it's like you are you are with a bona fide guru because the ninth house will show the bona fide gurus and suppose it's a benefit then you have a very nice rapport with the guru <laughs> but now now then 
if in uh, chala dasha you are running uh, dashas of planets i mean the signs in the 10th house or the 11th house then you will be like okay i go and see my guruji thank you so much give me some ashirwad sabka bhala ho sabka acha ho sabka shubh ho namaskar aap rahiye wahan hum you stay there i stay here so even though vimshotri has blessed him with such a nice spiritual community but he is himself not into it because his chala dasha is kind of not supporting and he will do externally some mantras he will do or you know he he may read one shloka from the gita every day but it is very official and it's like a ritual he is doing it's just because his guru told him you should do is do there is no feeling from inside at a soul level he is not feeling that he should do and then there are the others oh my god when will i get a guru when will i find god you know please tell me <laughs> and then like from last 10 years i am running 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 i am not finding anything anywhere and i'm like hold on man your time will come <laughs> yeah so that that is how we try to uh, balance and narayan dasha i already said narayan dasha is very important because when narayan dasha's ninth house gets activated then one must start spiritual practices whatever i don't care what vimshotri says i don't care what chala dasha is telling do hell with these two dashas when narayan dasha's ninth house is active you must do it or if i have seen you can combine uh, these two dashas also for example i have seen if uh, narayan dasha because that is also sign based dasha so uh, if in that your atma kara is getting activated or even jupiter or your ninth lord or the ninth house and then also then you can try to see what chala dasha is telling because it can happen that uh, you tell the person my dear sir now you should uh, go and try to take initiation from a guru okay but then in uh, chala dasha if he is running eighth house period and it will be very difficult for him to even think oh, okay now i should you know go and think of a guru and you know, try to take diksha from him and then finally you have to check if vimshotri is allowing that and vimshotri is telling you know 10th house so then what will happen he will get some promotion and he will waste all his money radha sai is telling 8th house so throw out jane do sab aisa aa raha hai jao it's like that and then this narayan the size thinking what the hell he is doing <laughs> so you have to try to see to what extent yes. you can uh, find the consensus in the three dashas dasha systems and the last thing i would say is very rarely you will find that uh, all these three are uh, merging perfectly but what one thing i have observed is uh, in somebody's chart if uh, their atma karak is well placed and if the lagna lord is well placed or if jupiter is well placed you know or if these three are reasonably well placed in a good dignity relatively then the person can the person has a higher potential to uh, go from vimshotri and act at chala dasha level and finally act at a level of narayan dasha i have seen or maybe what will happen the person will say no no sir i can't do that but i agree to what you say <laughs> it's very difficult for me i will try my best but i agree to what you say you are right maybe i should be doing this one day you know that i also got that call from inside you know maybe you should do this do yeah because but then if the other planets are not supporting the whole soul is not supporting that will just remain a feeling it will <laughs> <laughs> it will not translate into actions and that is why there are so many people who desire so many things <laughs> no but among them there is only one person who is ready to put that effort whatever it is either it is you know financial prosperity or spiritual elevation whatever it is both need a lot of you know hard work patience discipline it will yeah, it will not happen that it won't happen that oh you, you have lot of money so you can never become spiritual it's not like that and it is also not that you oh you are very disciplined about office and you know going to your business so you will always be disciplined with spiritual life it is not like that so we we always have to try to figure out depending on the desh kal patra also 
you know, so suppose somebody is born in India in, and the person is near to a holy place especially. No, and then, then, then naturally I have seen, you know, they have this inclinations, you know, for spiritual elevation because of their birth. Luckily, they have been blessed like this. So then I have seen it is easier for them to follow what the Narayan Dasai is telling. Because they have very much high faith in God. You know, if somebody is staying in Banaras and you say, you know, Shiva wants you to do this, they will be like, yeah, I will do it. <laughs> or if you say somebody is in Ayodhya and you say, you know, Narayan Dasha means Lord Ram wants you to do this, they will be like, oh, Ram Chate mein karu, mein karunga. Even if I can't, I will still do it. But suppose somebody is not born in that region you know, or somebody is born in a metro city, totally materialistic, even though in a, in a, in a play country like India, then, 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 then you have to behave like a normal person. <laughs> And luckily, if somebody, even though being born in a city or a town, gets association of uh, great souls, like some good spiritual personality, then they can evolve more and more and more. And then they, they will only one day ask you. Like, I get some uh, people who used to, like one person here, taken a consultation from me last three years back. And then now he has like joined some spiritual community and you know, everything is... The Indians, you know, turn out turn. <laughs> now, recently, he just mailed me, you know, sir, uh, my life is now relatively much more set. <laughs> so now I think we should do another, uh, re- another session on each of the dashas, I think, and how to synchronize them. Uh, yeah, I mean, I was saying about that person that uh, he w- he was about to tell me that now uh, he, we should sit together, he and myself, uh, and okay. see what is next, you know, not in his material life. Okay. How how he can evolve at a soul level or what he can uh, do to elevate his consciousness more. So, yeah, I said, yes, uh, great to know that you have made immense progress in three years. <laughs> That is all from my side. If you have any other questions, you can always ask. Yeah, so people can ask questions if they are listening because currently I am using uh, Charadasha to some level. Vimshotari and Yogini just learned it, revised it. So in Narito, we don't take Dasha system at all. So I have uh, that habit only I have lost of using Dasha. <laughs> so now I have to look into it and see like you know, go back to my basics and do it again. And if you can just share in one or two minutes, like you said, you don't use dashas in Nadi, so how do you do the prediction? You just see the planets and the years or how is it? No, uh, Nadi has uh, like uh, the uh, natal planets and then the transit planets. But we have progression of planets at three levels. Okay. Like each planet we have, uh, like Jupiter will travel in one house for one year that is the first level but then it it will also go one month one house so that is the second level oh okay that is the way you can do it and the third level is like 12 years one house oh, okay Achha, the full cycle you mean 12 years one house okay, okay. one month one house one year, one house, 12, 12 years, one house. So wow. that way we have to do for each and every planet. So for Saturn, is it like 30 or how is it? Yeah, it is 30 for Saturn. Okay. 30 months. Okay. And a half years. Okay. So again, you can just do the uh, combinations and the permutation. Then, uh, of course, the degree of the planets is very important in nine. Okay, okay. The planetary so, degree. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's uh, like, you know, it's a simpler way of doing things. That's why I think I've stuck to Nadi. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, ultimately it's like whatever works best. Whatever works yeah. best. Correct. Thank you very much for Thank you. Thank and you so much. We will record soon and uh, which was the topic uh, you, you were supposed to do that uh, the first topic you said apart from Aryaman. 
so the first topic let's take uh, how the vastu uh, purush was formed and how the 45 de- deities came into being okay we can do that next okay sure 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 we will do that soon yes sir. yes sir. thank right. you sir thank you for your valuable thank you, time ma'am. thank you thank i hope people can now come and use all the dashas that you have uh, various dashas uh, many of the astrologers that i know use only vimshotari dasha or at the most two these things like i would use vimshotari and nadi that is a combination i would go in for very good perfect <laughs> uh, people have got too much uh, they they know about these dashas but how to use them you have told them to yeah yeah and yeah i forgot to discuss about yogini dashas that anyways i have a plan to make a series in my channel so i will be explaining in detail on the different things you know dhanya and pingala yeah, yeah, yeah. this one we just had a session with vp goel ji okay He's a master in yogini dasha okay okay so, i hope it was great <laughs> it was awesome just awesome nice Thank you so much, and we shall. Thank you. Thank you. Again soon, okay.